Meanwhile, in Tupac news, the shooting of Tupac Shakur once again underscores the violence that has surrounded this man since he shot the superstar. To Pulled up, open fire, Shakur and Knight. Tupac Shakur was shot several times in the chest. Shakur was pronounced dead. Machiavellianist, Illuminati, all through your body. The blows like a 12 gauge shot at my young homie stay strong I wonder if they'll listen to a nick when he gone Are you still there? Only Gab can do it like this Yo YouTube, what up? It's your homie Gab, I'm in the building And this is Machiavelli Media How y'all doing out there tonight? I hope everything is real chill, real swell Hope everybody getting ready for this Thanksgiving Salute to all my family out there, and salute to you and yours. Tupac, are you still them? The album. Where does that rank with you in your Tupac catalog? Now, let me give you the back story on Are You Still Now? We had just lost the great, late Tupac Shakur. And the fans hit the record shops and bought all of Tupac's previous release material. So being the highly intelligent woman that Miss Afeni Shakur was, she decided to take matters into our own hands and get Tupac's unreleased material as well as some of the ownership, if not all the ownership, of his previously recorded and released material. And one of the things she did, she started her own record label. Amoru Records. And the first matter of business, an album she put out called Are You Still Down? Now, the album was dope, you know, as a fan wanting to hear more from Tupac, it was the first time, well, it wasn't the first time, because Machiavelli technically came out after Tupac died, but this was the first time in maybe a, a year or two we got to hear from Pac again, outside of the bootleg Machiavelli's that was released. So we get this album, Are You Still Now? And, you know, with anticipation, fans wanted to hear exactly what was on the album. Now, we found out later that this album actually came from an album that was coming out before Me Against the World. I believe it was called Thug Style. Some people call it other names. I'm not sure. But what I can tell you is I really enjoyed Are You Still Down? Some of my favorite tracks on the album was a lot of kick it. Um, I wonder if heaven got a ghetto. I really enjoyed that. They actually shot a, a video for it that I'll get into at a later date. Um, I love the title track. Are you still there? It's my favorite track on the album. I wish my homeboys could see me now. Little bad mother running wild through the town. Please tell me, are you still down? Yeah, that's my joint right there. You know what the crazy part is on that song? He actually said out his mouth, to my young homie, stay strong. I wonder if they listen to her when he gone, are you still down? He said, he wonder, was we still going to listen to him when he gone? We all know the answer to that, but, you know, the fact Pac was thinking on that level, man, is very, you know what I mean? Like a prophet. Um, yeah, man, that's one of my favorite tracks. That's, like I said, the favorite track on this album. 16 on Death Row is another good one, man. Um, you know, Tupac storytelling is deep. You know, he's, he's doing it from the aspect of a, a teenager. 
that's actually in prison on death row. And he just gives this like deep, dark backstory to what the kid is going through. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a very touching song, man. It's vintage Tupac. You know what I mean? That's good work. Of course, I like Hellraiser. I like um, Hold On. I like, man, it's a, it's a lot of stuff on there I like. Don't Make Enemies With Me. It was a, it was a dope album, you know? It was a, a thug style. I love thug style, too. You know, it's, it's really good stuff on this album. You know, um, it didn't have the commercial success because it wasn't a whole bunch of like party records on there like all eyes on me but the album still i'm sure went platinum i don't have the numbers in front of me but you know i'm pretty sure you know the album was as a success you had the flavor with one g the track one g produced for pop what was it definition of a thug yeah that was hard that was a hard joint right there that that was slick um you had do for love, what you won't do. <laughs> do for love, you tried everything. Yeah, that's the joint right there. I like that. That that's real cool. I I like the little animation animated video they had for that as well. That was that was a hot joint, man. You know, hearing Tupac express himself, you know, in, in in that fashion on that track was very cool, man. It was throwback track, dope. Um. I can't stand fake. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. That that was wild. <laughs> That's a wild track. Um, what else you had on there? You had a lot of good stuff on this album. It's, it's a lot to try to remember all at one time. Um, I'm losing it. That was a good one with uh, with, with Big Psych. Um, and that's one thing I love about this album because you know, it seems like a real Tupac album. Unlike some of the stuff they put out after Pac was gone. Like, I, I'm gonna get into that a little bit later in this video, but you know, it, it was it was organic because they left the recordings like Tupac recorded it, for the most part. It wasn't no major changes like Jazzy Fizzle on there or, you know, Eminem just doing what he wanted to do on the whole album. It was just, yeah, we got our hands on some some previously recorded Tupac music. And um, here it is. Check it out. Tell me what y'all think. And I think that might be the best way to go because the moment you change anything, you straying away from what Tupac planned or what Tupac recorded or what Tupac, you know, had in store for his audience. So after you do that, it's not really a Tupac album now, is it? Hmm. Um, I'm doing all this stuff off memory, y'all. I don't have the track list in front of me. I'm just telling you the songs that I personally like to play when I bump this album. Um, did I mention Hellraiser? Yeah, Hellraiser was hard. Yeah. And even in the darkest night, I got the heart to fight because I'm a thug for life. <laughs> Come on, yo. He say, uh, what'd he say? There's one of them lines on there. He say, what'd he say? Every, but Pac dropped two cops. <laughs> Come on, yo. Um, what else What else is on here? Y'all gotta help me out in the comments section. You gotta let me know your favorite songs off this album. You know, the ones you really enjoy the most. The ones that you bump on this album that made the album a classic to you. Not what the critics say, because the critics weren't really feeling this album. I want to know what you feel about it. Oh, yeah. Yes. You know, are you still down? It's part of his collection. Now, some of, you know, some of the Tupac fans wasn't completely happy about this album. But compared to some of the the albums that would come out later, where they actually changed the production and did a lot of, you know, second guessing of Tupac's material and his opinions. You know, I think this album, you know, resonates true to what Tupac was trying to give his listening audience. But my question I always pose to you guys is, how do you feel? And I'm asking you, how did you feel about 
Are You Still Down? Is it one of your top Tupac albums? Was it just cool? Or did you hate it? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section. I need you guys to share and like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, Machiavelli Media. I'm your homie Gab. It's been a pleasure as always. I'm signing off. I'm about to hit y'all with the peace. My young homie stay strong. I wonder if they listen to a nigga when he gone. Are you still there?